You are watching Call for Two. I'm Jesse. I'm here with Greg. Thanks for having me on your channel. What are we doing today, Greg? Just dropped today, Marvel United a Multiverse. So we're going to be talking about that Kickstarter and whether we think it's a good idea to back it or not. Jesse, we, uh, we have a little experience with this game system. We do have some experience. We've played a couple games. I was surprised, better than mm -hmm. I thought it would be. And you backed the Kickstarter. We did a Kickstarter preview mm -hmm. for that. So yeah, this is the third implementation of this system. We've got Marvel United, which was Kickstarted and offered in retail, and then the X-Men United, and now this is Marvel United Multiverse. I keep having to look at it because I keep forgetting the title for some reason. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, so we liked it quite a bit, yeah. We liked it quite a bit. Lots of different scenarios, mm -hmm. lots of different mm -hmm. characters to yeah. pick. You know it a little more than I do. Mm -hmm. I had my hesitations. There are parts I didn't like about it. The chibi, is that what you call them? Chibi, chibi? style, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't love that. But uh, the game was interesting enough yeah. that we both sort of got in on it. You mainly mm -hmm. kickstarted it, and I helped out. So let's take a look quick. Um, let's just go through the page and, and give our thoughts on it and stuff, uh, ge just general impressions and stuff, and then we'll get into the nitty gritties of, because this doesn't exist all on its own, right? This exists in the realm of like other games from in, in this system and, and CMON games. I and think. you just got the Kickstarter, the yes. first one, and here's already, I've got a, here's the new, and this is the new. United, we, we backed quite a bit of that, actually. We got like three of the expansions and I think a couple of the extra expansions from the Marvel. Was it one. all X-Men? Yeah, no, we have some. We we backed, a, we've yeah, got like Fantastic like, Spider-Man. Um, there was we've other got, stuff. We've got, we've got Sinister, well, we got the Sinister Six mm -hmm. and the uh, and I think Thanos and, nice. and we got like the Apocalypse Box and stuff like that and some other. Uh, okay, so here's Multiverse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've got Galactus here. That's the first thing to, to see, mm -hmm. which is cool. It's exciting. I mean, I love the Fantastic Four. I love Galactus. He's one of my favorite villains. And uh, it's great to see that in as a mode in the game. It's a little diminished since we just had Marvel Zombicide come with a massive... Giant Galactus. And the whole point of Galactus is that he's huge. And it's cool because he is much bigger than the chibis you have. But he doesn't look much bigger than a, um, than a normal action yeah. figure is. So, I mean... A little taller, but I mean, he's certainly a lot less impressive than having that more recent version for Marvel's on beside that massive Galactus. All right, I cannot so, wait to get. So there's the first pledge. Okay. $65. Mm -hmm. Yep, first pledge. You've got uh, you've got the Wrecking Crew. That's pretty cool. That's probably a scenario where you play all four of them at once, and that's all Kickstarter exclusive. So that's kind of cool. Um, I think those, in general, like the, the I think it's cool when they have the scenarios with a number of villains that app, uh, offers a, kind of a little bit of a. So core box and wrecking crew. That's the sixty-five dollars. I mean, that's other the minimum, and no one is pledging that. Four hundred and eighty <laughs> people. Yeah. Okay, well, and then here's the one where. So let's go. Whoops, there's the next pledge. Harold pledge. Yep, as you say, hundred bucks. You've got the the wrecking crew in there, and then you've also got Galactus, and you've got Iron Lad. Let's go up, which is one of the Iron Lad is Kang, I believe. He's one of the um, one of Kang's iterations. You've got some multiversal characters, Spider-Man twenty ninety-nine. Very exciting to see that. Um, you've got uh, the the Jane Foster Thor and Maestro. I love seeing Maestro. Hmm. Uh, he's from Future Imperfect, I believe is the name of the story. Older, you know, older comic story. I think he's important in comics now. I haven't read anything more recent with him in there, but I love Maestro. He's like a very evil Hulk, futuristic Hulk, where he kind of takes over. So that's exciting to see him. Um, it doesn't show him as a. Uh, I don't know if he's a villain or not. Let's so see. you've got Maybe the general basics the here. Some oh, there's the mini. There's now you've got Commander Solo mode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Uh, you know something about that? You were saying, like, they've changed up the solo mode, they've beefed it up? Yeah, I think you will, you're you able to take on different characters in your team so you can mix the cards in. Uh -huh. So you can effectively have different characters helping you in the deck. That seems pretty neat. You know, that seems like a neat idea. I don't know, I'm not quite sure why you wouldn't be able to play that in any of the other versions. Um, I'm not sure, like... That's a good question. Uh, ...about that. But, if you could bring it back. Yeah, but I mean, in general, like, I don't really like too many crazy things in solo. I'd rather control deuce two characters or something in my solo mode rather than leave it the same gameplay as you normally play. I like no, that. No, a lot of people don't like that, including that, yeah, me. True. I do not like yeah. playing two-handed. So that would be a reason why you might want to play this. No, no, but this. sometimes if you play like um, like Scythe has their own, you know, they're really big on having uh -huh. the um, automata or you know, they have like that whole system, and it's usually different than the actual game. And I don't generally like that. But this here uh -huh. looks like it's still probably pretty simple. So this is it. This is the only other pledge level. You well, either play that there's one. There's going to be an all-in, oh, and there's oh, going to be add-ons so? for sure. Well, they're saying that the add-ons come with these. Well, let's see them. The, the, uh, the, okay, so the there's the Herald pledge. Bucks. And yeah, Captain Carter, that's cool. Okay. Hero Loki, that's cool. Shuri Black Panther, I really quite like. I've always liked. Don't that was one that thing I, I missed. 
I was hoping in the movie, this is a little black, uh, excuse me, kind of forever spoiler-ish, but, um, you know, I really love that fur lining and, that, and the <laughs> cloak, and they didn't really have that in the movie, and I was really hoping to see that. I was really like that look in the comic book, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Spider-Man 299, as I said, I'm very excited about him. Mm -hmm. you got Ironheart, Cosmic Ghost Rider. He looks pretty cool. Uh, you say these things like you know these people. You know who Ironheart is? Yeah, yeah. She's new. I've actually never read an Ironheart in, in a comic version. She's very, very new, and I'm more of an old-school comic uh, collector. Uh, you got Immortus, which is another version of Kang. That's kind of cool. Maestro is a villain. That's great. And, of course, see, uh, third Secret Wars, Doctor Doom um, in his white outfit. So that's pretty awesome to see that. I'm a big Doctor Doom fan. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are probably going to respond to that because um, he's really, uh, really big and really cool. Now, the nice thing about getting new villains is I, I find it like every villain that comes in mm -hmm. expands the gameplay because... You can keep adding heroes, but you've got only so many villains. Every villain you, you get is kind of like a multiplier. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like if you have 30 heroes and two villains, you add another hero and you really have two, two additional ways to play. Where if you have, you know, five villains and 30, yeah, I think the math works out there. I'm not a mathematician. Yeah, the villains create, seems like you create a, lot more a different contact. kind of scenario. Playing yeah. the different characters doesn't yeah. really change it up that much. So there's some battle plans. I saw they also they also have weapons in this one. Which adds a little complexity, I guess. Not doesn't seem like too much, just enough to maybe keep things a little more interesting. Um, I think this game's strength is in that is in that it's short and sweet, right? So let's so see. So four villain dashboards. There's only yeah. four different villains to play against. Mm -hmm. Well, you're getting the um, so it's Maestro, Immortus, Iron Lad, Galactus, and the Wrecking Crew. So that would be five. Well, this Ghost Rider one, but no, he's, Ghost he's not a villain. He's not a villain. Why is it Master Plan? I'm not quite sure. That's another. Uh, yeah. Mm. Okay, let's let's scroll and see if there's any right. other. You got the biggest challenge. So this is a very challenging. Oh, because you get to fight him and his heralds, all four heralds. That's pretty cool. Uh huh. Terak, Terax, I think his name is, um, and uh, Firestar. Uh, I don't know the other two. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the other two. Hang on. Okay, so here are the more exclusive. Airwalker, Here's the Fantastic Fire Lord. Four. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Nova. Oh, there's a, oh, I see again. Okay. Yeah, I see. Why is there a whole different box for? Uh, because Galactus is taller. He's gonna come in his own box. I would I guess see. that's when you get the. Usually, when you get the those, they they have them all in different boxes. Okay. <laughs> or they that's usually sometimes a an extra uh, unlocked stretch goal where you get the whole box. It's yeah. quite nice to see okay. everything all different kind of, kind of dashboard. For him. Yeah, let's see if there's anything. This is, feels like this is a different box. All this is different Yeah, usually, box. like, Galactus is going to come in. But I mean, what box. I'm saying is, like, look, this is the four villains mm -hmm. for this. Mm -hmm. And then this yeah, box but I think, is different. This is... Yeah, but I think that Galactus comes in with uh, with his own challenge. And you play those four those four villains as part of his, his uh -huh, scenario. But they come with their own different set right. of locations. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the uh, stretch goal or any add-ons or stretch goals. We've got, okay, so you're getting Corsair. I saw this. You're getting Black Knight. I like seeing um, <clears throat> some of the uh, uh, Star Jammers. They're not quite multiverse. They're mm -hmm. just cosmic. Claw, it's cool to have another uh, villain to fight, although he's not multiversal either. Chameleon, I love Chameleon. He's great, but he's not a multiverse either. But and I'm pretty sure we saw Songbird already, which is interesting to see her on there because I think she was part of another... Uh, Titania, another villain. That's good. I like seeing the villains on here. I'm kind of interested. Uh, Chameleon might be in, an interesting type because um, he's takes on the mantle of different people. It'd be interesting to see if they really do a different scenario with him. So, Absorbing mm -hmm. Man. He's one of my favorites. Wow, they've unlocked a lot since I looked at this oh, last. Really? That's the real fun part of watching these uh, Kickstarters is because you get to see. Um, let's kind of maybe go a little quicker through these. Cyborg Spider-Man. Abomination next. Okay. Um, so they're not showing you what's going to unlock yeah, they more never. of these. Well, oh, okay. okay. So let's talk a little bit about normal kicks. Cool mini or not Kickstarters for anybody not familiar. They're going to every couple of days or day, they got it on a schedule. They're going to introduce a new box. That's going to, people are going to say, yeah, I'll add on with that. Like whether they usually, you know, it's a fantastic four guardians of the galaxy, you know, like they'll take some facet sinister six, whatever, take some facet of the Marvel universe and give you that as an add-on, and then that'll push the the money the Kickstarter makes higher, which will unlock a lot more stretch goals, which has a cycle of you will keep backing things. <clears throat> so, you know, that's the first thing to kind of talk about, I think, is the fact that in general, so now we're kind of getting into the, you know, whether we think this is worth backing or mm -hmm. not. So um, it's kind of interesting because in general, you usually get 
a boatload of extra stuff when you kickstart it. And that's really the, the strength of kickstarting anything, right? It's certainly the thing that sucks you into doing it. Mm -hmm. Like the last Marvel United mm -hmm. Kickstarter had just like dozens of mm -hmm. extra Kickstarter exclusive stuff that mm -hmm. got added to it. Yeah, I think we figured it out last time. You, you were getting double the amount of minis at least and yeah. double the amount of characters. And I think the Marvel Zombicide went, went in, like higher than they anticipated it to go and you got all these extra characters. So normally we talk about it and it's that you're getting extra characters for basically the same as you would get on retail, right? So you're basically mm -hmm. spending 120 bucks or whatever on a box set, but you're getting twice as much as somebody that's buying it off the shelf. Except... But that's not quite so true anymore, right? Okay, yeah. so so what's the because thing? Because of the shipping. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at this crazy shipping. Mm -hmm. Base cost 33 to $44 for the regular. The Herald... This is for US. Yeah, Herald mm -hmm. 34 to 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. So Without any add-ons yet. Yeah, so that's where they kind of start to get you. And I think in general, when I... Like, like I'm going to... I went all in on the zombie... Marvel Zombicide because I wanted that huge Galactus and... As the Kickstarter went on, I was just sort of like, oh, I want that, okay. And they and I got enough to where I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm just backing this all in. It made sense. And I got my shipping cost, and Jesse did not believe me at all. It still seems very hard. To $170 for the Marvel Zombicide. side. For the, just the shipping? Just the shipping. And I only did one How wave. How can that be? So, I mean, I didn't, want, I didn't split it because I don't want to spend more money. And so I just kept it in one shipment, so I'm getting all of it, basically waiting a year, whereas most people would get that intro box early. But that's because I'm getting a huge Galactus and all these add-ons and everything. That's a huge amount of price. So that $170 now gets, you know, s s you know, you you would have to average that over each box and think you're kind of paying in that way. I mean, cool meter not doesn't get that money. That's a shipping cost. Mm -hmm. But it is as a consumer. Well, you are no, that that's not true. All of these shipping mm -hmm. costs are are all fungible. Yeah. No, none of these companies charge mm -hmm. their real shipping costs. None of these Kickstarters ever say, we're going to mm -hmm. charge you what the actual shipping is. Some of them lower the shipping cost and bump up the yeah. price of the thing, and some do reverse. Mm -hmm. And these are just estimates, so you don't really know yeah, what your hard. final shipping cost is going to be. But it is substantial. I mean, that was, uh, you know, that all-in, and that's a lot. I mean, that was a lot of stuff. I, I get that it's, a, it's expensive to ship that, but it was definitely, for me, was, I mean, that's $170, is, you know, that's... That's a lot of money, you know, mm -hmm. so you got to be aware of that because part of the, I mean, it is exciting to go through, I mean, every day to look, I mean, it's, I mean, every time they do one of these, even if I'm not backing it, sometimes I look to see what's been, what's you know, been unlocked because it's so exciting. It really is. So let's talk about, cause this doesn't live in a world all by itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the shipping is a, is a, I think a pretty big thing to think about, mm -hmm. but this isn't going to live in all by itself. It exists in a whole world of other Marvel United and other Marvel games. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think about, we talk a lot about like bloat or like the idea of getting a ton of content, which on the surface looks amazing. But I mean, you know, we haven't played through, you know, all the content we have for X-Men United. We have, we have Marvel, United, Marvel United, X-Men United. We've got a ton of stuff to get through. I mean, a huge amount. I mean, you know, and we have all these other games to play. And now I'm all in on Marvel Zombicide. I kind of wish that they hadn't... Well, we should say... Yeah, okay. Just quickly before we segue this. This is a year out. You back this now, that's you'll get true. it yeah, in one point. year. Mm -hmm. And you'll find out the shipping yeah. at some point. So you're right. I agree with you. Like It seems like that last mm -hmm. Kickstarter just happened. And here's a new giant but one. But it's a year, sure. But it will be a year from now. So in that year, are, you, are we going to get through... X-Men United, Marvel United, and Marvel Zombicide. You know, I mean, is that the, is that going to happen? Probably not. Probably not. The answer is no. <laughs> it's There's an big, answer to that. Yeah, big the answer is no. 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 Well, how do you feel? Let me ask you this. You backed, mostly you backed the mm -hmm. last one. How do you feel about that? Is Has, they, has the cost faded from your mind so it, you don't I mean, it's some it cost at this point I don't think I'm thinking about it anymore, but it is in, impacting my decision now because like, I really wish again. I I don't. I know there's a lot of licensing things. I know they got to put out these kickstarters, but it's like Zombicide. You know they put out a. It's they've done this probably what a dozen different Zombicide types now. You got mm -hmm. you know Black Plague, Green Horde. You've got Dead or Undead or Live. You got you got all these things. Mm -hmm. And you know how much of that game do you really need? And I think at this point for me, like you know, and they keep like the Marvel Zombicide thing was kind of cool because they had several different you could t play like team on team they had a lot of different modes that they had introduced and you could do the hero mode you could do the zombie mode you know you can be on both sides mm -hmm. of the thing and 
uh, both teams, I guess, right? So like there's all this different stuff and there's a lot of content there, but you know, it's almost like too much, you know, like I think about all that. And, and, and before I thought, usually these are such a economically great because you're like 60 or 80 bucks, sure. And I'm gonna get double the minis or whatever. And I mean, they're so great as collectibles. And I think last time we did this, he said, why wouldn't you just back the $100 mark get all those extra minis and all that stuff figures. and you get all that stuff and it's amazing. And mm -hmm. even if you, you know, like if you were a toy collector or whatever, but now the shipping, the, the cost, I mean, you know, they really, it's a lot. So, mm -hmm. and I don't see myself playing all that. So as exciting as it is to see kind of like the route they could take, cause there's so much in Marvel. I mean, it's, it's, there's characters forever that are interesting or exciting. But I feel like at some point, you know... You know, you bring up something that I hadn't even considered before, but I think is worth considering, which is mm -hmm. that I tend to look at this and I think, wow, if you're a Marvel super fan, mm -hmm. how exciting it is to yeah. get all those figures. It's a great but time to be a Marvel fan, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, yes, it is. Except you bring up an interesting point, which is that they're clearly going to continue yeah. releasing stuff under this license. New games, mm -hmm. new, not just CMON, but other companies. And you might want to consider, like, even if you're the super fan that loves all these characters, you might want to consider, should you wait for the next game? Like, you've got Zombicide mm -hmm. now, Marvel United. Yeah. If this isn't perfectly in your wheelhouse, maybe you should wait for the next $500 <laughs> all-in Kickstarter yeah. game yeah. that is that's still got all the Marvel characters, but is slightly different game. You're going to get... So many more chances yeah. to get Marvel United and other games with Marvel that you really better really like Marvel United and love those particular yeah. figures. I mean, I think like if you're if you're a huge fan of this game and you've been playing all of it and playing through all of it and you're hungering for hungry and that's good because it's collectors, mm -hmm. you know, for new content, then then of course this is going to be a no brainer. And you know, but I mean, I think like I look at that and like you know, you get that FOMO. That's a whole thing about Kickstarter. I think. Hey, if we don't get in on this, we're not playing Galactus. We're not going to be able to play Galactus because he's Kickstarter exclusive. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like, at this point, I've got all the Kickstarter stuff for the original, all the Kickstarter for X-Men United. We've got a few expansions for the first one and, like, four expansions for the X-Men stuff. We've got about seven or eight expansions, two base games, and all the Kickstarter bloat that came with all of that. Yeah. I cannot imagine that I'm going to need more. I mean, I look at it, and I'm like, oh, but Galactus. Oh, but you know what? I have Zombicide Galactus to play. Mm -hmm. So I guess for me personally, like, again, I, I back the last couple big ones, and I know it's, like, it's very exciting. It's exciting to watch this stuff. It's exciting to see all these characters. I mean, I love the Star Jammers. I love, you know, Maestro's <laughs> awesome. But for me, like, it's very, very expensive. I'm not likely to play through all of it. I think it's too soon. I think I probably would rethink this if this was two years out or three years out mm -hmm. and I had a little more of a chance to go through some of that other content. Because, I mean, we aren't only playing Cool Mini or Not games. We're playing all kinds of games. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I feel like almost like Marvel United is not going to be a lifestyle game, I don't think, for anyone, right? So it's a bit too much too soon for me personally. And given the shipping costs and everything and, and the fact that I've, I've been buying all this other stuff, I'm going to hold off on this one, Jesse. I know I, I telegraph your answer. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's this has very little appeal to me. As yeah. you say, we're never going to make it through the other. Yeah. And the other comics and characters are much more appealing to yeah. me than this. This is fairly low on my list of stuff. Plus yeah. the shipping costs going yeah. through the roof. And also, I don't believe that these are going to be our last opportunity. Yeah. I think in a year or two, they'll find ways. They'll repackage this. They'll make another Kickstarter with all the stuff back Well, again. it is important, actually, just as a final point for me. Like, you know, in X-Men United, you could buy the box sets. Like, like so you could buy, like, Sinister Six or Guardians of the Galaxy. You could buy um, the Marvel United stuff, the add-ons. You could mm -hmm. buy those during the X-Men United. And I, and I imagine that'll be the case here as well. Mm -hmm. And if they do another one of these, they'll be able to see that now. I mean, this is, is a cool opportunity to have a lot of interesting characters that like you wouldn't see be, uh, otherwise. But mm -hmm. I, we probably got at least 100 or 150 characters to play already. I mean, I don't know. I didn't count them. But I, I'd feel comfortable saying there's 100 of them easily. Uh, you know. Yeah. There's so. always the third market. You can always yeah. pick it up later, a little more expensive yeah. with the third market, although with the shipping. But... Yeah. If you're gonna, if you're playing all of these, 
every single one. If this is how you're spending your life, then buy it and have yeah. fun. But if you're going to buy a stack of boxes taller than you on the hopes that you'll play it, that yeah. seems like a bad decision. Or do the breadcrumb thing where they you keep just saying, oh, well, I want that one, and I want that one, I want that one, and then all of a sudden you're like, why not Why not go all in? Mm -hmm. Which was my experience with the last, or the zombie side of it. Okay, well, you know, hopefully we brought up a few points for you to consider. Mm -hmm. um, if you're interested in this, uh, hey, good on, good on you. I, I, it's exciting. I just, our wallets and, uh, and, and gaming time is limited, but it is pretty cool to see some of the stuff that's in here. And I'll be, I will be keeping track of this for sure as it's happening, just to share in that sort of excitement. And I'll but update you gonna... if Greg changes his mind and goes all in. Like, they're going to be... That's Greg, dangerous. Greg has the little yeah. places in his heart for some of these characters. Yeah. I'll and be like... A couple I'll, get like, added. Yeah, it's like, listen... Maybe I'll go to the bar and I'll hang around. I'm not going to drink. Mm -hmm. This is that's what's kind of watching this Kickstarter yeah. might be like. But we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see how I. I, I wanted to add one last yeah. point. I almost forgot. It can't be that they have time to test this game stuff. I just don't believe oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. The more of these scenarios, yeah. villains, and characters that they feel compelled to add, and you're kickstarting, no one's judging the quality mm -hmm. of it. The playtesting has to be minimal. It has yes. to be that these games suck. <laughs> I, I know that I'm might going be a little on a harsh, whim, but, yeah. but... We did enjoy Marvel United and X-Men United, so... We but did, I, I do, but I do we get worried. Played, when, the more I do get they worried. released, the more has to be untested, unbalanced stuff. I do, I do get a little concerned about the playtesting of a lot of this stuff, but, you know, they're a big company, so, you know, we have enjoyed their games in the past, so, mm -hmm. you know, I, it is okay to be skeptical, but maybe not... Uh, Marvel United be. was good. You just can't produce this much content yeah. and have it be tested. Uh, you can see some links pop up um, at the end here of... X Men, our reviews for X Men United and maybe Marvel United or some other things like that. You can look for those on the channel. Um, and uh, if you like wargaming, I do a war game, watches as wargaming journal. If you like movies, I do watch it as uh, movie. What is it called? Watch list. Watch, watch it as watch list, which Jesse's often on there. Um, any final thoughts? Buy the base game. You could get it cheap, like 20 bucks. Try it. <laughs> Try the base game, but uh, you can wait on the Kickstarter. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you on the next one. Thank you.